I still have to deal with the pain, but I have found ways to make it more tolerable. Ibuprofen and Midol no longer work, so I have to use stronger medications to help. I have been taking iron pills and sleeping aids to help. I finally had to tell my manager about it because it was affecting my work, and it turned out she had the same thing. She was very sympathetic and gave me advice to help. She had been a big help towards my recovery. My condition had been tough at times, but luckily, everything had gotten better. And now I have people helping and supporting me. this later. I'm feeling like soup right now. I just, yeah, and this feels like a heavy, heavy box, really. So, I'll eat that later. Um, <laughs> I reuse this again. Just... 
Yeah, I'll have the clam chowder soup. Again, with this, you cover it, you get for two minutes, stir, uncover, stir, cover, two minutes, and then you're done. So, I'm going to take a spoon to get this out of this one. Yeah, this is plastic, and I was told this one is okay to be in the, uh, refer not refrigerator, good lord, microwave. So, alrighty, that's what I'll eat, be eating, clam chowder soup. I don't really feel happy, you know, I mean, I feel as if I'm the one who won the lottery. No, no one's ever cried over me before. I'm gonna get ready, sweetheart, because I'm gonna be shitting this. The truth is, I'm a hypocrite. Every day I work with lottery winners. Good, decent men and women. Making honorable sacrifices for society. I don't see how that makes you a hypocrite. I'm afraid of death. I'm sorry, I don't follow your reasoning. Yes, but when I was here last time, I grew up to be a big man, and Angela was my wife. Jonathan said that when he'd been living before, he also had two children, a son and a daughter, who was also called Angela, after his wife, but could not remember the name of his son. Later that day, as they were returning home by the same route, they came to a crossroad where Crosby Road bisects the Ridgeway, and Jonathan became upset and agitated. That's where my little Angela got killed by a car. His mother decided to make some inquiries about the incident. I spoke to a sergeant Ernie Darkness. Because I had that trick, so. I know I treat you like a son. Yeah, but I
that she has extraordinary powers. It's daunting. I've been through it. It requires self-reflection and listening. Yeah, most are definitely her superpowers. I'll have a chat with her. I think that her problems may be less magical and more biological. Puberty. You talk to her. You can't go to a teenage girl. You have to let them come to you. Like cats. What's so funny? Nothing. It's very serious, right? Wait a second. You did this. You framed me for breaking into all those cars. What? That's crazy. <laughs> and you drew a penis on my hands? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should see your face right now, Ryan. Is this, is this a joke? Why the hell would you do this? Well, for starters, it's funny. That's the laughter coming out of me. But more importantly, now you have to go to that party. Are you, are you insane? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck is with me here, guys. I'm tired. Again. This is why... I did not do any schoolwork. I think some days I'll just have a day on schoolwork. And then have a day off. On, off, on, off. In case I feel this shitty. So I'm going to try my best to end my class before December 13th. That's my number one goal. So again with the worksheets. Um, I told Lindsay, the lady from college here. That um, I will have to do it like... A few days in between like how I did the big 63.1 hmm. I did that within like three days it had like 12 questions each or whatever I had to rewrite the answers and stuff like that like rewrite the sentences I mean for the punctuation and whatever so I can't believe I still got 59 points out of 63 That's four points off. I am still in shock, but yeah, if I want to do Continue on doing it that way with the worksheets and get a high grade like that then um, It'll be slower with me to submit it. So that's the plan here. I just don't have any energy to do anything and here I thought my pooping was done and over earlier I hate ate like that um, 
that Koosh Koosh grain, it's grains of rice thing, chili made, and I've had a uh, hot German with it. I was okay then, and then now I'm like shit and like a motherfucker. I'm like, what in the fuck? So, yeah, I'm sorry again for my dull day. So that was me watching, um, Isn't It Romantic movie with Shaylee. That sh movie is from 2019, by the way. Now I'll use the magnet to get the keys back in there. You mean I could have been holding them for nothing? Who's, uh, you got an R3, a junior, and your lump of Play-Doh there. Tom will take two patients. I already accepted four majors and ten minors. It's standard protocol. Good thing I should have. I'm gonna go to bed early tonight I don't know what time or maybe I will take a nap and stay up a little tiny bit I don't know <sighs> I just don't know <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna watch one more episode of Futurama and then decide what I want to do so plan to edit one more video too so maybe after that I'll get going to sleep all right so yeah you know the rules mom no um banging things only touch things if you see a fire starts to you know spark or something like that and yeah hug and kiss the kitty cat patty for me. Your grandchild has a kitty form. So yeah. But what I said last night, I don't know. Maybe there might be a time where I would feel like I don't want to be on birth control anymore in the future. And I might want to start a family, but the question is, um, like I asked last night, um, how could I carry a baby in my tummy without being in so much pain, arthritis pain? And what kind of medication could help me with my arthritis pain and have the baby last that long inside me, like nine months? without it getting killed from all the drugs I take from my arthritis pain. So, that's my major question. I don't know what's in store with me for my future, and when I'm gonna find the right guy, or if I find the right guy. I don't know what my future is. Only Jesus himself knows what my future is. So, yeah. So, oh, what is that person doing just sitting there for? What the heck? <laughs> no, he never mind, he's on his way, I think. <laughs> so, yeah. Again, those are my lights. So, 
Good night, everybody. She's ready for an ABG on five liters. No problem. Hey, how's she doing? No pressure's up. Not a quick 32. Am I made That's yeah. good. Mm -hmm. She's been sleeping for a while. Probably, um, probably best if you wait out here. Um, I have several pages of post op orders to write. Maybe at least now before she's ready for business. Okay. I'll just, uh, I'll wait out here, okay? You were brought here that you might have a second chance. So this land is real? Oh, dreadfully real. If you die here, you'll really be dead. But instead of science, we believe in crazy hocus pocus. It's like Kansas. God help us. Cornwood's troubles began hundreds or perhaps millions of years ago. Deep in the geysers of Gygax, Mom and herself injection molded the dice of power. <laughs> G52 Round over My God, you guys. Step into more cash when you bring your deposits to co credit union. Oh my fucking God. I was like reviewing that video I made. Sunday, November 5th, 2023. That was bad. I definitely got to tell Nurse Partitioner um, about that video, and my worrisome still, that December 22nd is way too off, and if I'm in that much pain again, like on that Sunday, I don't know how much I can stand it. Like, oh my fucking god. <sighs> that is just horrible. That was just horrible watching, wasn't it? Like, holy shit.
I'm like, are you effing kidding me? <sighs> so. Oh my god, that. What the fuck? I, I'm gonna tell them my concern. I gotta continue to be on this steroid until that date. Otherwise, I don't wanna be in some kind of hospital because I'm about to have these bad thoughts continue on going through my head all the time and crying every day. That's not healthy, like I said on that video. That's not healthy. I am not going to tolerate living like that through December 22nd. Okay. Okay, so... Oh wait, what? Okay, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday would be the last day of taking the steroid. And I'm just so nervous for Thursday and Friday. It is not a joke. I'm so fucking nervous right now. My, my entire body is about to shake and how nervous I am. I, I, I know I shouldn't get hooked on them. That's what I am going to say, but I'm just nervous that my bad suicidal ideation will come back so much 10 times worse and I will be forced to be hospitalized. I'm just so fucking worried right now and I don't want to cry about it. I'm, I'm trying to collect my thoughts. I, this is the thing though. I, I, I'm tired of crying. I'm tired period today. But these are my thoughts going through my head. I'm just so worried that I'll have those horrible thoughts in my head and I don't need them. I'm going to be 42. And that's too short of a life to live. If I continue to think that way and act all on them one of these days, because I'm in so much pain being tormented all the time. I just don't want these thoughts, guys. I just don't want them. I just don't want to continue to be in so bad pain to where I probably won't be able to move out of bed anymore and be in so much pain. That won't be living at all. I'm just so terrified. And I gotta be open with you, and I gotta be honest with you about this, because I am terrified. I just, I just don't think I will stand living without pain relief, like steroids, to help me through until I see the physical medicine. I'm just, it's not funny. I'm just fucking terrified. I'm not hooked on them at all, that's for sure. I don't want to be hooked on them. I don't want to go to a higher dose because of that pinched nerve thing. Maybe it was just how I moved wrong that Saturday. I fucking don't know. Maybe I uh, did it too quickly, like bend down too quickly or something. I fucking don't know. But I don't ever want to get that bad ever, ever again. Thinking those nasty things about myself. Not wanting to be around here when I'm in pain. So. It's just really worrisome for me. I'm just really fucking worried, guys. That. On Thursday and Friday, if you see me having a bad day crying. This is why, because I would say, hey, I was right about this, or something, if I was, if I am right. I just don't know what to do. I just, I just don't know what to do. Maybe I should just at that, just give me my 100 on that Thursday, and just, you know... Because I don't know how I will be that Friday. 
I don't want to be in tears all the time off and on and him wondering what the hell is wrong. Why are you crying? Because I'm in pain with my arthritis. So inflamed. I've been off the steroids for two days. I don't want to explain that to him right away. He'll be yelling at me anyway. And that's not what I need either. I need help. I need help with this. And I'm just so, so worried that... That it would just get so bad for me. Not just a two-day wait, but like a month wait. Like, December 22nd? Are you fucking kidding me? Can you imagine being out without pain reliever for that long? Even if you are taking something like ibuprofen for, you know, alongside that for the night, you know? But still... What if ibuprofen does not work either for you? If you're just taking ibuprofen and not your steroid, you know, you'll be in hell. And like I said on that Sunday video, I don't want to be overdosing. I'm just so worried, guys. I'm really, really fucking worried. It's not funny. Oh, God, guys, please pray for me. Please, I really don't want to think of those nasty thoughts. I really, truly don't. I'm very worried. Very, 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 very worried. I can't talk right, but yeah. So, I'm going to call it a night now and get ready for bed. Take my hydroprofen like I need to, like four of them. And just calm my thoughts. I don't want to get obsessive with this shit now. Get too upset and cry over it. I almost did a few minutes ago. Like three minutes ago or four minutes ago. I don't need that, guys. Okay? I just don't understand why I am in so much pain at age 41. I just don't get it. <sighs> Again, I'm racking my brain. Did I do something really, really wrong with my past? So why God gave me my arthritis? Why am I in pain all the time? Why did he give this to me? <sighs> Can I... I know I shouldn't be saying this, but again, I wasn't the evil one. I was a scapegoat to all of it. So, uh, I gotta get to the bottom of it. Maybe my um, inclusive lady will tell Baker, look, she needs more pain relief pills like these steroids because, I don't know. I'm just really fucking worried. I'm just really fucking worried. And mom would be too if she sees me crying. She'd be like, oh no, Nora, Nora, Nora. I hate seeing you like this, Nora. I hate seeing you like this. I know I hate seeing myself like this too on video. Man, November 5th? Video? God, that was bad. I never want to see me cry like that again. Being so pissed off like that again. I just need uh, enough dosage to last me until December 22nd. And I hope and pray. I'm not going to obsess about this now. I want the nurse practitioner to write this down. Just say she's going to write this down. She has to. Otherwise, it's going to be against the law. Okay. Because if I tell her when I'm in pain, I'm having these suicidal ideation thoughts, she has to write that down. Otherwise, she'd be in trouble. And, and that those notes would be for the physical med. So then he has to help. Otherwise, he would be in trouble.
So yeah, something will be done with my back. But yes, um, I just I'm I'm just really really nervous about Thursday and Friday. I'm just really fucking ass nervous, and I know I shouldn't be, but <clears throat> I don't want to fucking cry again. Just fucking damn it. Okay. All right. I'm going to take my adroprobin, take my um, blood pressure pill, brush my teeth, and get going to bed. I don't see any evidence of internal trauma. He doesn't, he doesn't look like he hit his head. But despite the absence of trauma, Dr. G's cranial exam is not over yet. He's got this history of hypertension, so he could have had possibly a hypertensive bleed. Carefully, she slices through the brain tissue, inch by inch, looking for any evidence of natural disease. When I cut the brain, he had really nothing wrong with it that I can see with my eyes. Right now, I'm not seeing much. Small aircraft. Something Brandy is dreading. It's not so bad, is it? I guess not. Flying was something that I did not like to do. I remember it being a little scary because it was just a little puddle jumper. It wasn't tall enough for you to stand up straight. It was really small. <laughs> it was really small. No, it's in the front row. Come on, it'd be really cool. We can stay at the cockpit. Oh, let's just sit on the seat behind. Brandon said, hey, babe, let's go sit in the front row. I think because of my fear, I said, no, let's just sit. Michael, we're going to go out, OK? See what we can find. Michael fears that if they're left behind, he and Alvaro will die. He kept saying, don't leave us. Please don't leave us. I didn't want to be left alone because I thought if they got lost, they wouldn't be able to find their way back. I felt bad leaving them. But I also knew there was nothing more we could do for Michael or Alvaro. Mm -hmm. And there was no good in us just sitting.